Have you seen this helicopter before? Most of you can identify it. It's a Boeing Chinook, but take a closer look. Do you see that orange piece of equipment hanging below? It's outfitted with a, a large water tank and a water boom that can spray water. And it's all part of the HISS, or Helicopter Icing Spray System. The Army needs to know if its helicopters can handle icy conditions, and that's where the HISS comes in. It's important because we need to ensure that all of our equipment is working properly, and it's also important because we need to make sure that our air crews arrive up there proficient in the task. Adam Cowan is a Redstone Test Center experimental test pilot. He flies the airplane that collects the data from the ice clouds that the Chinook's water boom makes. So sampling behind the hiss in the cloud, we, uh, we dip only one wing in the cloud, so it's, it's very challenging. It requires a lot of stick and rudder skills. Spray copy, exit to the right. But before they even start to make the ice clouds in the cold air of Michigan, they start with prep work here in the Tennessee Valley. In preparation for our uh, deployment up to Michigan, folks in the Tennessee Valley area may see us flying overhead. And again, we're, we're testing our equipment out. We're making sure that all the components are functioning properly. And we're also training the, uh, the crew members so that they're proficient before we actually go up to Michigan. You may also see a liquid coming from that orange system. It's just water, there's, there's no additives. It's just water right out of the tap. That leads up to what Michigan residents will see throughout the winter months. The hiss will then launch with the test aircraft. The hiss would start spraying its cloud. The support aircraft will then sample the characteristics, if you will, of the cloud. Then the test aircraft will stay in the cloud anywhere from 5 to 45 minutes, and at that point it is evaluating how the ice attaches itself and how ice can shed from the aircraft. It's very difficult to fly a fixed-wing aircraft at a low airspeed in close formation with a helicopter spraying water. But it's all to make sure our soldiers are left with the best equipment in the field to keep them safe. Stephanie Mills, WAFF 48 News.